Game On Media is joined by Dylan Sage, who plays for the Blitz Book. Uh, my name is Dan Lombard. Dylan, thanks for joining us. How are you today? Yeah, good. Thanks for yourself. Can't complain, Dylan. Let's get right into it. I know you're on Christmas break now. You started out in 15s and then switched to 7s. Why? Well, I got scouted, scouted off to the varsity cut. So I think it was a new challenge and a very good opportunity for me coming back from Australia and uh, studying and then being able to uh, to be picked up by the 7s was obviously a exciting opportunity. Dylan, you played in several seasons of the Varsity Cup for UCT. Talk us through that experience and your thoughts on the competition. Yeah, it's awesome. I love UCT. Obviously, I played there for about four or five years. Uh, it was a special place in my heart for UCT. Um, Varsity Cup's great. You know, it's, a, it's a great competition. It's got great players in it. and I think it, it, it explores the exciting brand of rugby. A uh, brand we can all get around and it's exciting to watch. You played a bit of rugby in Perth. What did you learn over there and why did you return to South Africa? So I think the biggest thing I learned uh, from being in Perth to the Western Force was just being in a professional outfit. So I'd never been in a professional outfit before. Obviously playing club rugby is an amateur, it's an amateur sport. So um, going into a professional environment, you, you learn certain things, how it runs and, and the ins and outs of it. And then obviously came back uh, to, us, to uh, South Africa to uh, finish my studies. Then it may be over a year already, but describe to us the feeling of representing South Africa at the Olympics. No, it's awesome. Um, the Olympics obviously a special place. I mean, the first South Africans don't realize the impact on the Olympics around the world. I think we don't, we don't have a big Olympic culture yet, but um, around the world, it's obviously massive. And, and you know, if you're from America or, or England or something like that, China, you know, it's, it's a, or even Australia, it's a huge, huge honor to, to represent uh, your country at the Olympics. Dylan, you've been part of a very successful Blitzbok team that's done exceptionally well, including winning the World Series. What what makes the, your team such a successful team? Yeah, I think we've, we've got a very strong team culture, and I think you know we we've played really well, we prepared really well uh, in the tournaments we we had in the year, uh, and I think we were, we were really um, clinical in our in our games. I think in tournaments you need to win, we won. Um, you know, five finals. Or eight finals, five wins, and it's a great ratio. But I think it just comes down to you know, the management staff and, and, and the players building a, a strong culture and and um, being prepared and having a, a good system. I'm going to throw you under the bus quickly. It's not one of the scheduled questions, but considering that you have represented South Africa at national level with the Sevens, what do you think the Springboks can take out of the team culture from the Blitzbocker? What, 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 what do you think they can learn from you guys in turn of turning the ship around and going and getting back to the top of world rugby? Well, I'm not going to, I can't uh, comment too much on the spring box. Obviously, it's a 7 and 15 is a different game. So, um, I can't comment on, on, uh, on what their outcomes are or how they've been playing or whatever. Um, that's just for different people to, to analyze that. Um, but I think just in, in our 7s brand, why I think we've been successful is, is our culture and the environment we're in and the system we've built. Dylan, give us some insight into the Sevens World Series that the Blitzbocker won earlier this year. What went right? What went wrong? Or when did you guys realize that you could go the whole nine yards? I think after we won, oh, for myself, I think once we had won Sydney, and I thought you know we were pretty much you know in the driving seat to to win it if we had just kept on playing decent rugby for the rest of the year. Um, so you know from that from that good start we had, I think we finished it off well at the same time, but. Um, the good start really put us in good stead for the the rest of the the season. Um, you know, I think we had a good, uh, strong squad, and we kept the squad for about two seasons. I think that's important to to uh, keep successful continuity. I uh, think continuity builds success. So if we can, you know, keep squads going and building teams for years to come, I think chopping and changing never never works. I think it's proven not to work. So I think for us to have a strong squad for those those two three seasons before this season uh, was really um, impactful. Dylan, as we end off, what are your rugby aspirations? You, you, you've reached the pinnacle of, of, of winning a seven series. There's still the World Cup. Um, you've got a Commonwealth coming up earlier in the, later next year. What are your aspirations? Where do you want to go in rugby? And do you have aspirations for 15s as well? Well, I'd like to have a successful injury-free season coming in 2018. Um, so I'm hoping to do well in the World Series, Commonwealth Games and World Cups, I'm included. So uh, for now, I'm worried about 2018, and I want to do well there. Um, it's hard to say in rugby where you want to end off because you don't know the road you're going to take. You know, um, it's it's a strange career that can chop and change um, where you need it. So I think you know, I, I can't look too far in the future. I'm going to look at 2018 and look to have an injury-free and successful campaign, and I think that'll be me from there. Then once the season's over, I can start looking ahead at what else is out there. 
Gabon Media would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Dylan, for spending some time with us. We know you guys are on holiday, and we appreciate you taking some time to speak to us. And we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me.